Charles here, he's still off working on this field and cultivating. He took one of his unusual breaks again, and I wasn't too happy about that. I, I just don't know what to do about him yet. He was a heart worker for my aunt, and aunt Maggie and Uncle Rupert, and they said he was a really good worker, but I don't know. He seems to take a break every more often than he should. Um, I'll have to talk about with him about that, but uh, as for now, just gonna tour around the farm here. I still don't have any word from the shop about my Mahindra yet. They said everything or it was just a tune up, but it seems to be more than that. So I'm gonna come down here and check on uh, Monica to see how she was. She's making out. Actually, Monica is one of my cousins here, and her mom and dad were just wanting her out of the house, so um, they thought she could use the help and her job and to offset her expensive habits. If you know what I mean, and uh, she always likes to buy clothes and shoes and whatnot, but she seems to be doing okay. I know she said. Any help that she needed, I could finish off, and she'd then go for a late breakfast and come back and start working again. Um, with that being uh, said, um, uh, I don't think uh, there's anything else here to do other than wait for her. But uh, maybe the I have a message uh, on the phone from the shop. I haven't checked any of my messages. Um, hope the cows are still a couple days away. I'm not ready for them yet to come in and uh, whatnot. Uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to say, uh, they said, the shop said my big crone, big X was in for uh, cutting grass and uh, it had to be picked up, but it's early as convenient convenience uh there's not a lot of room over there uh we'll go check on uh that as well maybe my mahindra will be ready where's that phone again i always lose it but with that being said i'll see if i get a message oh there's my phone maybe they email me or computer maybe they email me instead i'll have to take a closer look but i'll talk to you later Oh, I'm down here at the shop, I guess. I didn't have an email, but the uh, shop did say my uh, big M, sorry, I might have said big X earlier. Uh, but my big M here was uh, bought. Oh, as you can see, there's a nice new tractor. Oh, and there, there's Mr. Yellowhammer. He must have bought this nice John Deere. Uh, but there's my Mahindra. They finally returned it. They said they had to replace it. There was a default in the one that I had, so they said I should be able to go and go and go now and whatnot. Um, but yeah, they said if I could get rid of this stuff as soon as possible. There's the other cedar down here. Uh, I left it here so that they could have more room, but as they said, they. They're running out of a little room here, so if I could get rid of them. I did check my email, and they said the cows should be here tomorrow, which I didn't really want to hear. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to hop in this and see what I can do to, uh, at the farm dealership, or livestock market. Well, I'm here at the farm dealership, or not the farm dealership, but the... Uh, animal dealership that called about my cows coming in. Uh, my friend said they would be here in a couple days. I didn't think they'd be here this early. They're, they said they, uh, or I shouldn't leave that running, should I? Um, they said they had the paperwork here. So I'll go in and I came back out. I signed all the paper for the cows, um, they told me there was one bad news my friend didn't tell me about. Oh, I 
did get a little close to that car. Good day. Um, he said the bull Angus didn't have all the right paperwork done. And I said, oh, on whose end? And they're like, well, we can't really tell, but there was something missing on his end. So he couldn't come with the rest of the herd. And I'm like, oh, he was the best bull that my friend had. And they're like, yeah, we're sorry about that. So they're going to set me up with another bull from here. And um, all the paperwork's been taken care of. They said they'd uh, let me know when the cows arrive. And uh, we should be here in the next day. It's just getting them here to get their final inspection. So everything's been taken care of. My friend, uh, happy to get rid of them. Um, he got a pretty penny for them, I guess. Uh, I had to buy three thousand a head, them for three thousand dollars a head, and a little extra to get them shipped over. But he he said he'd take care of Angus. Angus was a very nice bull. It was his prize winning bull. But it just couldn't come across in because of the missed paperwork. And he's going to uh, have it put down or give it to another auction over in Ontario. But uh, I'll meet you back up at the farm. Maybe Monica or Chuck will be done their jobs. <laughs> Oh, Monica wasn't joking when she said she needed a little help to finish off the field. Uh, I know she said she didn't quite understand how to get the ends without turning or not doing a straight line, so... I said I'd help her when she got stuck. Um, she's eager to work and whatnot, and we were talking about uh, Aunt Maggie and Uncle Rupert. Uh, the one thing she said, she was surprised I kept uh, Chuck on for as long as I have, and he said, or she said, uh, he was always that way when. Aunt Maggie and Uncle Rupert were here as well. He always took the swimming breaks and whatnot and said they never bought the right pieces of equipment for him and uh, left him with all the jobs that he didn't like. But uh, I think if he's only the higher hand, then he's going to do what he gets told to do and he wasn't very happy when I said Monica was coming in to uh, plant the fields he thought he should have been planting the fields and not her and I said well she's family and she can do the job just as much as he can if not better and she, he didn't like that and probably why he does take most of the swimming lessons that he does do or take uh, but Monica did a really good job here I think she'll work out well on the farm um, she's trying to get in as much work as she can like I said earlier she wants to go out and buy a few bit of clothing and shoes and whatnot she also said she's looking at applying to some of the colleges and universities over here um, which will take up a bit of time and money as well. So, uh, she just went in for a quick, uh, drink of water and a quick snack at the house there. She said she'd be coming back out and she'd be happy to get on with, uh, the next field. So I'll just finish off this and when she's ready, she'll come back out and start on the next field. I don't know what we'll plant yet, whether it'll be uh, soybeans, sunflowers, or corn. So I'll just meet her at the next field. Maybe I'll even start for her and uh, she'll be happy to get things 
back going underway. Oh, well, Monica showed back up. She said she'd continue planting the corn that I started here on the combined fields of uh, 50, 51, and 52. Um, she's almost low on corn. I, she just had, or I just told her to send me a text when she was ready to switch up. Uh, I gotta go get my Mahindra. I'm not gonna wander all the way over to see what Chuck's up to, see if he's done his field. Um, like I said, I've been mauling it over whether I want to keep Chuck around anymore. I know Aunt Maggie and Uncle Rupert said he was a hard worker, but he doesn't seem to be a hard worker when he's working for me. I don't know, maybe he just got away with too much with R Uncle Rupert there or not. Maggie didn't really want to say too much when I breached, broached her on the subject. Um... So yeah, I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do with him. If he's not over here working or if he's not done. He just likes to take those long swim breaks, I guess, if you want to call them that. So I'll go see where he is and how much of the field he got done. If he got it done, then I won't be too mad about it. But if he hasn't completed his task, then... I'm not going to say what I'll do here. Um, I could cut across the field, I guess, but ah, why not? I'll cut across this nice cultivated field. Help me get to the farm a little quicker and also see where Chuck is at over here. That's where he was. Don't want to drive into the river. He said that might have been what happened to the Mahindra before and why it stopped working. And also this uh, shop said they'd be around today to pick that fent, uh forge wagon up and they'd take it off of my property. They said they were truly sorry they forgot about the fent when they picked up the Mahindra. Now like I said, now if I can only find where Chuck left off Seems like he did an okay job up here. Might have left a few spots here for me to touch up. But I'll hop in the tractor and uh, see what he happens to be. Oh, what's this nice little letter here from Chuck? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Once again, Chuck said he's gone for a swimming break, but he didn't say when he left or anything like that. So I'm beginning to wonder if it was actually a swimming break or not. He did say he got a phone call from Charles, and Charles' son is a little sicker than what he thought. So he won't be in for the rest of today and probably in the next week. So I'm like not going to be very happy with this. Monica will be okay, but I was hoping Charles and Chuck here would help out a bit more. Um, disappointed in Chuck here. Going to the swimming hole. Basically, what his letter said, he wasn't going to come back either today. Which makes me wonder if I should just keep him around or see if there's somebody else. I know Monica said her boyfriend was interested in a job, and he's not happy with the one he has, but I um, wasn't sure if I wanted to go that far yet, or let Chuck do what he wanted to do for today and see if he comes back. But, yeah, so far Chuck isn't working out as well as my aunt and uncle had said he, they would before Uncle Rupert ba passed on, but I owed them the obligation of keeping him around and him the obligation of staying around, but I, I don't know, it's wearing thin that he has to take all these breaks. So I'll finish off what he missed here and then go up to the other field I got. 
I was hoping to get started in the planting over here while Monica was over there. So with that being said, I think this field's just about done. So I'll meet you over at, uh, oh, I forget what field it was, 45 and, 35 and 33. Well, Maggie's back here working, and uh, she's doing a tremendous job here. I sent her on her way. She's going down that way. Um, Chuck is still over on the other fields cultivating, or he was cultivating. Um, I'll go see what he's up to and leave Maggie he here for now.
last of the fields here cultivate it. I can drive this up to the barn or shed there at the main farm and go back to the shop and grab the other planter and plant this one grass or start planting one of this wheat, barley, or oats in one of these fields so that I can get straw swaths for the cows that are coming in later this week. So with that being said, I'll see you up at the shed and I would like to thank everybody for watching as I drive up the lane here to the farm and hope everybody had a great day today and we'll catch you next time on Stonehaven Farms. Thanks for watching.